YouTube. Euh, euh, apprends un carte nouveau. Nouveau carte. This is Malcharmi Fuvaros. Fuvaros. Uh, I don't know what the TCG translation of this will be. Uh, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Do you know why? Because this thing is ridiculous. All right, we've got Max 3. Max C has been uh, banned in TCG. Perulia just came to TCG to quote-unquote replace Maxi, but apparently we're getting more of them, and this one is just better because if you control no cards, quick effect, this card apply. Exact same as Perulia. However, each time your opponent specials a monster from the main deck... Oh, wow, they took out the normal summon. <laughs> each time your opponent specials a monster from the main deck and or extra, draw one card. It has the same end phase restriction. Um, as uh, Malcharmy. So if they end on one monster, you're still going to have seven cards in hand. All right. So Malcharmy Perulia is really good. Uh, you're always going to one for one off of it. It's very rare that a deck just doesn't normal summon a Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, you could play around it in theory if you really wanted to um, and give your opponent no draws. Since it's rarer for decks to special from the hand than it is to special from the, the main or extra. Um, which is why this is, like, significantly stronger and better. <sighs> this is, um... This is rough. Are you normal from the, the main deck? The, the initial translation said normal for some reason, but anyway. So... This is, for all intents and purposes, quote-unquote fixes a lot of the problems with Maxi. Uh, Maxi is at its absolute worst and at its absolute most frustrating... An egregious thing is I, I experience this daily when I'm streaming. I don't open any hand traps and my opponent normal summon Snake Eye Ash. And I sit there and I just sit and yap to my chant and watch videos for like five minutes. And then we go back into the game. I start playing the game and then they max see me. Like you just feel like you've wasted like five to ten minutes of your life, right? You genuinely just feel like you have wasted your time. Because uh, it's just unwinnable, basically. Unless you're somehow opening insane board breakers and your opponent misplays multiple times, you have to kill them that turn because you're not going to beat the follow-up and 10 cards in hand. It's so frustrating. So this quote-unquote fixes that e egregious problem with Maxi. Fair enough. Fine. Um, it also means that you don't end on a million cards. Because if you play into Maxi, even, like, you just say, fuck it, we ball. You start popping off into the Maxi, and then your opponent... Um, uh, you don't kill your opponent, but they end on 20 cards in hand. All right, you're still going to get cooked. This fixes that. Because now, instead of um, 20 cards in hand, they're only going to have 11. And I think they're all random because you have to shuffle, right? <laughs> only 11. <laughs> but in theory, you know, that's better than what Maxi gives you. So it fixes those issues. Now, the good thing about this is that it only count specials from the extra and from the main deck depending on the deck you're playing against that's not a lot in a small combo of snake eye for example if you're just going to go like flamberge mascarena which is what sp plus follow-up you you this gives you one draw right but the, the issue here is we're taking that as an example which is a tier zero deck it's a tier zero deck right like that's the worst case scenario for the average player this card for the average deck Two draws, sorry. Okay, <laughs> so you're still two draws. Um, for the average player and the average deck, this is still going to be, be like two plus. And that's never bad, right? Because as, the moment you're at least one for wanting, that is how broken of a card you need to think about it is. Because if you look at it in the context of, at an absolute minimum, I'm just upstart goblin, like, tra you know, going one for one, right? That's ridiculous. More important than that, this isn't even that bad to draw for turn. Because one of the most frustrating things is drawing hand traps for turn, right? If you draw this for turn, is it? it's not opponent's turn only, right? Control no cards, discard. Yeah, so you can just activate this immediately on your turn if you draw for turn. And they will probably still give you a draw or two because of floating, because of Mascarena, stuff like that. I don't see a universe and a world where you don't just main, uh, absolutely side deck this and potentially just main deck it because of how powerful this is. It's very rare for a deck to not special from the main deck and not special from the extra deck. This feels like it's very much designed for um, the OCG. I know we've coped on this for so long, 
But I really, really think that they have to ban Maxi from Master Duel and from OCG now. Because they can't they, they can't look at the game and think, oh, we need more versions of this. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's no way they look at this and Maxi and think to themselves like, oh, you know what? There, there's not enough. There's there, there's not enough of them. It's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, searchable by Robina, by the way. <laughs> Not that it matters because you need to control row cards, but that's really funny that Flunder can search this. You have to admit, it's very funny. All right, so I just wanted to speak a little bit about this for a while because it's just the most important, biggest card that's ever happened in Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Like, here's the thing. Archetypes come and go. Staples like this, they generally are harder to, like, get rid of because they can be used in every deck and they usually stick around for longer. You know, the release of Snake Eye, the release of Fiendsmith. Fiendsmith's going to die one day. Snake Eye's going to die one day. Tier Lament is going to die, has died one day, right? Um, so archetypes come and go. These stick around a little bit longer, and everyone is going to want this, and everyone is going to want to play this. It's that powerful. Um, and yeah, so biggest takeaway that I'd like you to have from this, and this is, like, I think how I like to look Brazil. at this. Max 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 Thank you for the resub. Um, why is this card made, and why was this designed, and why are they making this? They're doing this because clearly, no matter what they do in Yu-Gi-Oh, they have to try and fix going second. Going second is so broken. Going second is so ridiculously powerful. How do you fix going second? Well, you either create this critical mass of hand traps or floodgates, uh, like Shifter, like Lancia, for example. Um, going second is powerful. So I, I clearly, I meant going first. Minor speaking mistake. Sorry, chat. Um, so they, wa they, they want to give you some help for going second, and they just give you, like, cards like this uh, to assist that, right? Do you know what I mean? Um, and I don't think this is the right way to ad address this and the right way to fix going second in this game. Um, because you're making it very dice roll based, or very coin flippy, rather, um, because, you know, it's, it, it becomes a situation of just draw the out, which is terrible. Uh, I think the best way to make going second more uh, viable in Yu-Gi-Oh! is to keep making new cards like Zeus, keep making cards like Typhon, Sky Crisis, um, keep making bonus effects on cards like Ecclesia. I think that is one of the like just really coolest Brazil. designs cards is I just love Ecclesia um, because it just lets you have a decent effect when you go first, but going second, it's an extender. Uh, I just love that about the card. And I think if they just made more archetypes and more cards that gave you bonus effects like that and created just more um, field-breaking uh, punishments like Zeus and, and Sky Thunder, I think is, is really, really good. Uh, that's what I want to see. So I think this is the wrong design direction. I just, I really don't like this. Um, it's, again, it's, it's very much draw the out. If you draw this against most decks, it's, they kind of just have to pass their turn. Um, I'm not a fan. SP, yep, yeah, that's a good example of a well-designed card. Not Fenrir, though. That card's bullshit. Fuck Fenrir. <laughs> I have to read the comments! Do a refresh here. Surely they will ban Maxi this time. Surely maybe after the last one for Graveyard and Banishment. Oh yeah, there's one Malchummy monster coming, right? Cause, so they, the, the first Malchummy is punishing normal summons from the hand. Sorry, specials from the hand and normal summons. This one is Decker Extra, so the next one is going to be Grave and Banishment. Is there anything else left? The Binder, probably. <sighs> Thank God the Malcharmies are only usable if you control no cards. I would not like a world where Flu can search and use this, even if the deck isn't competitive anymore. Uh, <laughs> Albanian dude, my hero. It's funny how these mulch cards are exactly how players have given ideas to Arata Maxi to make it fair. Just saying, but I do have a video. I do have a video where I suggested max c errata like, does he push into this and i suggested extract konami i didn't say both effects okay my max c suggestion was you get to draw for every draw from the extra deck not extra and main deck that's a bit much that's a bit ridiculous okay so before anyone starts saying um you know for anyone who's gonna try and blame farfar -far for this you know a better maxi at at home than before one. Yep. Honestly, this one seems better than the previous one. Yeah, weird. Maxi three. <laughs> Could it be? Is maxi in its final hours? This is really balanced maxi. There is hope. Uh, I don't know about balance. Maxi will be banned when all three will be released. Probably. How does he? 
How does this guy know there's going to be three mulch armies? Wait, that's very specific. Why does he think that? How does this guy seem to know there's going to be exactly three mulch armies? <laughs> Grave Banishment is the only one left? I mean, they, I guess, like, you could maybe draw that logic. Okay, okay, fine, 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 fine. They keep wasting time making Max C2, but not in Demion support. <laughs> this is Triff. Weird guy. Yeah, they're, Konami are wasting their time not making Max C, uh, ma making a Demion support. Three maxi on the game, oh my god, I think this is cool. This and the previous one put together are basically maxi. Funny how you need two to three cards just to make the effect of one. Yeah, weird, huh? Oh god, nine maxi, let's fucking go. <laughs> ah, yes, max E. All right, let's read the, the subreddit. All right, what's the, what's the subreddit comments? Guys, um, hurry up and post your memes, okay? We're gonna do mulch army memes. I don't know what that means, but hurry up. I'm gonna, after we read these comments, we're gonna check the mulch army memes if that's a thing. Mulch Army Fear of Oz, this is the effect here. Deck and or extra? Now, this is the actual Min C. Plus, small world roots are already developed. Uh, considering this is only really usable going second, not sure how useful small world is. Only for side frame decks, I think. And even then, they can add cards to link. Si Reddit is a cesspool. They're talking side frame theory here. Stop talking. Bro the brother, stop yapping. I think this one might be the better of the two, but I'm not sure. You're not sure? Really? You have to think about it? <laughs> really? <laughs> they really separate Max's C effect into part with Malcharmi archetype? Huh? Y yes. Yes. That was... That's the whole point. Yeah. Are you getting it? It really... It took the second card for you to... Reddit is just insane, dude. OCG Max C might get the ban, but only when all of the... All of card in this archetype gets print when it cover everything Max C can do. Okay. Well, fair. Isn't this really busted? Yes, it is! <laughs> Like, what the fuck? Did they have to group two of the most common places to special into one card? S exactly! They could have just made a Mulcharmy for the main deck and a Mulcharmy for the extra deck. Both together is ridiculous. And the random shuffle at the end is practically meaningless for most end boards, especially since you're probably using any hand trap you draw. So the the end, like, the my biggest issue with the Mulcharmy is they didn't give it a downside. Um, okay, so I, so I suppose, like, the biggest activation requirement is that you can have to control no cards. That's the balancing to make it, um, uh, only really viable in going second, which fixes that, you know, major issue of Maxi. But this huge portion here, like, this should not have said plus six. I think you should be really punished for using this in a situation where your opponent can just stop. Like, if your opponent controls just one monster... That means you can have plus six, plus one. You can have seven cards in hand. Do you know what I mean? Um, I, that's not enough. Uh, and I think the problem as well is that the plus six doesn't really even matter that much. Oh, is it cards or monsters? More than number of cards you're putting. Oh, okay. Wait, to be fair. Okay. I forgot. Okay. It, it does also count monsters. Uh, back row. Um, wait, so that's even more absurd, actually. Wait, that makes it stronger. Because if they have, like, a back row and a guy, then it's eight cards you're allowed in it. Wait, that... That's even stronger! I'm even more pissed! I thought it was just Moss. I'm even more angry, dude. What the hell? Yeah, so, that, so basically the second effect is, like, meaningless. Right? Because you're always minimum going to have seven cards out of this. Right? Uh, which is insane. Um, and here's the other thing you need to think about. That's in the end phase of that turn, right? What are you going to be doing when you're drawing cards as your opponent plays? You're going to be hand trapping them. So that's a minus one from your hand. You activate Malcharmy. They get to a clutch point. You activate Ash Blossom. You discard. You draw onto a Veiler. They keep extending. You draw a Veiler. Drop the Veiler. So, like, you're, so you're removing your hand like count. So this plus six like restriction, the downside, isn't even real. Like That's why it's so frustrating. Um, getting cards from Samus and the extra and deck together is way stronger than just hand, like the previous mulch on me. Eh, you forgot normal summons, actually. Though with Max E still in the OCG, I doubt it'll get much play still. That being said, it's probably going to be really, really strong when it drops in the TCG. I think it'll still be played in the OCG. Do you know what the problem is? I think in the OCG, because they already have Max E, they probably, like, released Perulia in the OCG, saw that the play rate of Perulia isn't that high, and then they were like... <laughs> 
We will make you play Mulch Army. We will make you... And then they just made this one, you know? Because um, they already had Maxi. The Perulia feels very underwhelming compared to Maxi. So they were like, you know what? We will make Maxi 0 0.5, and then we'll ban Maxi. Copium. Sir, a third Maxi is at the format. <laughs> the second Mulch Army. This jelly is for extra and main. The next one should be from the Graven Banishment. They still need more jelly to mimic a fraction of the power of Max. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Chat, new meme just dropped. New meme just dropped. New meme just dropped. Wait, hang on. Live meme review. <laughs> Wait, what is this? I just want the original. Fuck, they mimic our power. No! <laughs> That's just. Me with end game loot. Low levels using combos. Look what they need to mi Okay, right, anyway. You, you, you can see where I'm going with this, right? You can see, like, Invincible's dad, he's, like, pointing at, like, you know, Mulch Army, and he is, like, Maxi or something. Yeah, someone make that meme. All right, anyway. Uh, all right, let's wrap it up. So, basically, uh, let's do one final thing here. Let's run a poll. Uh, Mulch Army. Apps, uh, okay, uh, t uh, t what's this new one called? Uh, new... Max 3, whatever. Um, absolutely busted. Why? Uh, uh, it's fine. Stop crying. All right. <clears throat> Press 1 if you think it's absolutely busted. Why the fuck did they make this? Press 2 if you think it's fine. Stop crying. This isn't as overwhelming as I thought it would be. It's about 66-33. In fact, it's closing in to about 50-50. Do you guys really think this card is fine? All right, when you pull it from your uh, booster packs of Rage of the Abyss, make sure you give them to me, because it's not that good, right? Just give them to me. I'll take it. You guys want to give it to me? I'll take it. These are maxi defenders. This is... Ri I am so shocked right now. Only... 42% of you think this card is actually just fine, and to stop crying about it. That's crazy. Should be printed in only Starlight Rare. Yes! That way only content creators and vendors can play Yu-Gi-Oh. Finally, I'm going to get my first YCS top. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Yes. Yes. Guys, make sure you subscribe in Twitch Prime so I can afford Mulch Army. Uh... What is this one called? I actually... What is it? I can't remember the name. Wait, what's it? A Fuaros. What does that mean? What is that? What is a Fuaros? Fu Fuaros. I, I, okay, anyway. All right, well, 40% of you are genuinely just maxi defenders. Let's see the memes. I can't believe that we're doing Mulch Army memes, but here we go. All right, Mulch Army memes. July 7th, 2024. July 10th, 2020. This was three days ago. <laughs> okay, we're, we're copying. Uck, who cares, man? Uh, special summon from the extra deck, A, Striker in Shambles. That is a lot of draws for Striker, isn't it? Is this a reference to the first, uh, thing at the, uh, start of the stream? I don't know, man. It's my birthday soon. Can I get a happy birthday? Check. Everyone say happy birthday, Arceon, please. I'm farting on my door. Do you see it? God, this is a really weird thing to see if you guys don't know the context of this. Holy shit. Did someone say Yu-Gi-Oh dead? Yu-Gi-Oh community for 15 years. I fixed Max C. This would heal the game and fix everything for going second and balance the game. Community agrees. Konami. So we literally copy-pasted DB's custom Max C cards. <laughs> you have ruined everything about the game. I'm quitting. I don't know why the uh, German train system would have maxi um, variants, but okay. Aw, that's pretty cute. That's actually adorable. It's not a meme. It's just cute artwork. I like this. Um, is there already fan art? Oh, this is the first one, right? Perulia? Man, it's crazy that this cart has only been legal... For 34 days and there's already artwork if you want more information google mulch army rule 34 corporate needs you to find the difference between this picture and this picture they're the same <laughs> what are you talking about 
<laughs> I can tell by your comment. Meme XDD. <laughs> Mulch Army Dog Wateria. Uh? Plant. Okay, is this a custom card here? Discard this, apply this effect. Each time your opponent Gemini, Tribute, or Ritual summons a monster. <laughs> Yo, we found the third Mulch Army. <laughs> <laughs> Perulia couldn't beat the fraud allegations now that Furavos is here. Yeah, I feel like like Perulia is just actually useless now, right? Like maybe you'll play it for a format until they print the other one, and then you play the other one. Because what are you gonna do? You're not gonna play both of them, are you? Maybe I guess to really draw into it, but I don't know. Maxi, beautiful cultured artwork. Honestly, I I respect you. Uh, Konami, it seems like you guys really enjoy Max C. Thank y'all for taking on this ride with me. Yeah. You know what? I go two more for y'all. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Here's two more. Stop crying, the game isn't that bad. Snake Eye Ash, Engraver, Sangan Summoning, Puppet Lock, Phantom. <laughs> no, SpongeBob meme, no. No. Why is, like, Spongebob the go-to, guys? Really? Why is Spongebob the go-to? Alright, seen this? No memes, only despair. I'm gonna piss and shit. Uh-oh. Ash Blossom, Mall Charmy, Hyper Galaxy. Uh, yes. A Aseto Kaiba 355 meme. Amazing. Hello, Kashtira Unicorn from the worst deck of all time. Please ban every Kashtira. I'm so sick of them. Just get rid of them. Hello, Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon from the best deck ever. Except maybe Beastial Lair. Okay, Kaiba, stop. Kaiba, stop posting memes. Kaiba, stop posting memes. 2017, Konami, behold, the ship of Theseus. Died 1999, Blue Eyes Chaos Max. Born July 10th, 2024. Welcome back, Stry Striker, mobilize, engage. You're actually just posting, like, words. Like, you're just... Random generating images and then putting images with random words like what do you like mods? Can we can we ban Kaiba? Died 2018 born 24 welcome back Maxi was it 2018 that it died? I can't believe it took that long. Wow, you know, what's funny. I don't I don't really remember people kicking up too much of a fuss at the time um, Maybe it was because it was an FTK format. Wait, was it during 2018 it got banned? Like midway through, or I can't even remember. I the thing is, I just don't remember like people doing it that much. DMs, someone already made it. What are you DMing me? Someone in Farfacord already made it. Yes! Yes! Look what they need to mimic a fraction of our power. Yeah, I told you, it's funny! Funny! Funny, yes! All right, I'm stealing that from my Twitter. All right, thank you. Th technically, it's mine. Technically, it's, uh, it was my idea, you know, it was just like, you know, designed and uh, graphically uh, put together by someone else, you know, it's, it, it's technically my meme. Uh, Alright, I guess we're done. The entire Yu-Gi-Oh! community, uh, Oceanic Coverage 2024. <laughs> Sorry, Oceania Dolists. No one cares about your Snake Eye deck profiles. We've got other news to talk about. In other news, by the way, Speed Duel died... Uh, can we please get an F in the chat for a speed duel? Um, I think they officially... Where was the announcement? Which Twitter page was it? Was it Yu-Gi-Oh... It wasn't Europe. Yu-Gi-Oh TCG? I think the American page? They officially announced the end of speed duel. Yeah. Um, do, 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 do. Speed duel cards are... With the release of Speed Duel Battle City Fund, the initial speed duel saga we started a few years ago will be concluding. Speed Duel are legal for TCG play, and they'll be continued. There'll be support for do Speed Duel. Continue to play, blah blah blah. Uh, but basically, I don't see the link here. Um, but yeah, there's uh, they made a new set, I think, for T for Speed Duel, and they reprinted Max C, <laughs> which is actually really good for retro format. By the way, is it in this product? There it is. Yeah. Uh, so Speed Duel Battle City Finals, uh, thirty Prismatic Secrets, blah blah blah, Lava Golem, Medora, Fairy Lily Breakthrough Skills, so, and Maxi. So they're reprinting Speed Duel, which is really re genuinely a really good reprint for us because if you want to play the um, uh, if you want to play retro formats, Maxi is very good. Um, obviously, you want to pair them. Uh, sorry, a, a play set of them. So yeah, they printed Maxi, then cancelled the game. Good decision. Yeah. So Konami closes, shuts down Speed Duel, then reprints Maxi. Coincidence? I think not. 
All right, anyway, this is yapped on a lot long enough for the YouTube section. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Subscribe to the Highlight channel for more highlights from my live streams, which you can follow live on twitch.tv forward slash farfa.